By now you've probably seen the hugely popular open letter with a lot of famous people signing it. And if you haven't, it's basically an open letter saying that we should pause any development or experimentation with more advanced AI other than GPT-4. They're calling for six months of rest. Well, at the bottom, there are some pretty big names here. Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, and a few other people that you may or may not have heard of. Let's take a look at the total number of signatures. Okay, it's growing. Nothing to make fun of. It's uh, 1,896 compared to the uh, hundreds of millions of people that are using AI now. Okay, I know, I know. The signatories list is slow due to high demand. <laughs> This letter is getting a lot of publicity and to have this number, by the way, I'm recording this on a Friday. The new and updated number when I post this is this right here. I think that this whole thing is just posturing, but let me know what you think. Let me show you what I mean here. Now, if you take a look at this list, there are no names on here of people that are actually building AI. Not, not people, but people that are responsible for stockholders of the companies that are building AI. Did I say that right? I think so. So there might be some AI engineers on this list, but they're working on the thing. They're not actually financially obligated. Why would there be people like that on this list? If you're building the tools and also signing this letter, you're kind of hypocritical. Now, if you see what you're building is dangerous and you stop and then you sign the letter, only then you're not really hypocritical. So who's on this list? Well, let's see. At the top, we got Yeshua Bengio. He's a professor at the University of Montreal. So an academic. Stuart Russell, another academic. I've actually looked through this list. There's a lot of academics, not surprisingly. There's Elon Musk on this list. I'll get back to him in a moment. He's a special one. Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, is on this list. Love that guy. But again, he doesn't have a financial interest in AI. Andrew Yang is on this list. He's a politician. Gotta work at some angle. There is this person, Ahmad Mustak. Mustak? I don't know how to say that, but CEO of Stability AI, an AI company. So what's up with that? Oh, okay, it's uh, open source stable diffusion. Very little financial incentive there. This one is funny right here. Craig Peters, the CEO of Getty Images. Getty is about to be slammed by the advancement in generative AI. So of course, where are all the current leaders of AI tech on this list? The people who are about to be little trillionaires just hatching out of their diamond studded little eggs. Let's do a quick search here. Google. Okay, okay. Oh, ex Google. Um, okay, research scientist at Google. Hopefully no blowback there. Formerly Google, Nick Brown, a software engineer at Google. Way to go, Nick. Nobody will ever find a Nick Brown. Microsoft, engineering manager. Microsoft Research, I'm Brendan at Microsoft, customer success account manager. Yeah, there's a couple of people like that, sure. And these people are not directly responsible to the stockholders, but where's Satya? the CEO of Microsoft, hmm, not there. Where's Altman? Nope, CEO of OpenAI is not there. Where's Bryn Page? Oh, oh no, that's Sabrina. Uh, no, Hoken Brink, no, Sergey Bryn. Where's Larry Page? Daniel Page, not Larry Page, not here. Speaking of pages, this page is gonna be really big. They're, they better implement paging on this page. Infinite scroll works fine too, I guess. Elon Musk, let's talk about him. The CEO of SpaceX, the CEO of Tesla, and the CEO of Twitter. There is a little matter of him uh, trying to buy OpenAI back in 2018 and getting rejected, huh? But he still wants to be in the AI game. In fact, he is looking into creating an AI alternative to ChatGPT. So he's falling behind, he wants to get in the game, and he started this open letter to pause while he says, Hey guys, wait for me. Now I know this letter doesn't call for stopping AI altogether, it's just calling for pausing it temporarily. But come on, let's get real. These AIs are being developed by huge corporations. Now, we're talking about Microsoft, we're talking about Google. There's probably gonna be some other ones that hop in. Where's Bezos? He's not on that list either, by the way. They're bankrolling and they're funding the development process with a lot on the line, including their stock prices. This has become the race of 2023. And you think they're just gonna pause? <laughs> Especially when it's a multi-billion, uh, check that, a multi-hundred billion dollar opportunity. This is a classic prisoner's dilemma here. Companies receive the greatest payoffs if they betray the group rather than cooperate. Even if this were to happen, do you think that they will not secretly keep developing stuff? I doubt it. Have a look at how AI just had an effect on stock prices between Microsoft and Google. 
Microsoft's recent smart investments in AI has really, really boosted them. And Google's boogling of the whole thing. Yeah, I made that word up. Well, they messed it up, didn't they? They boogled it. Google boogled it. And with Bard limping out of the gate is just not a good look. And that's really affecting Google's stock price. All this is driven by money. This leads me to conclude that while these people might actually mean what they say when they sign this letter, deep down, they know it's not really gonna make any difference. Yet they are putting their name on there to go down in history as the people that opposed the AI revolution or didn't oppose it. They wanted to slow it down to do some more research. And then if AI turns out to be helpful and good, nobody will even remember this letter. But if the AI turns out to be evil, these will be the few people that will be remembered. The ones that saw it coming. I warned you. But the truth is, we just don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know what's gonna happen now. We don't know what's gonna happen if, even if miraculously, these companies agree to pause. The only way that I can see corporations stopping now is if we all stop using AI. So here's my final plea to you all. Please, I implore you, please pause using AI now and let Elon catch up. <laughs> See y'all later, folks.